Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat, and um, it's been a while since I made one of these um, bathroom mirror videos. But yeah, um, I guess I'm gonna be doing that. And um, for today's topic, I wanted to talk about all the experiences I missed out on growing up. And I feel like for a lot of these experiences, they're pivotal or important to like normal development as a person. And yeah, I'd say I missed, definitely missed a couple of those. And these are things that I guess every normal person goes through in their life at one point. And if you don't go through them, it doesn't necessarily ruin your life, but definitely makes it a lot harder to, um, like, I don't know, relate to people or I guess feel certain ways because maybe if you miss them, then your brain doesn't develop and you end up um, just being weird. And um, for me, yeah, there's a couple of those. Um, there's a mosquito fucking flying around or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, I definitely missed quite a few of those. Um, I think, you know, the biggest one that I probably missed out on is, um, I guess, um, having a girlfriend. And not just having a girlfriend, um, you know, maybe later in life, because I'd like to have one someday, but maybe, maybe in high school, because, or not even high school, like middle school, like when you're a kid, because I feel like that when you have like romantic, like when I guess you have like relationships, relationships at that age, um, maybe I'm just being like a, I don't know, romanticist, whatever the term is, but um, it's like, um, there's like, it definitely seems or feels a lot more genuine when you're younger. I remember um, the first girl I was crushing on, I don't know, back in like middle school. Um, I can definitely remember how it felt to an extent, but it definitely felt a lot more pure, a lot more genuine. It's like, I definitely I felt like I liked this person more for the way they are. And you know, maybe it was just like my mind playing tricks on me. Like maybe I was just physically attracted to this person. And then my mind came up with all like the BS about how, you know, this person is the greatest in the world, how everything she does is like perfect, how her personality is so nice. And you know, I was probably being like a massive fucking simp, but you know, when that kind of thing like goes both ways between, uh, I guess, people at that age it kind of becomes like one of those like genuine quote unquote genuine relationships or it's like one of those like relationships that um i guess is like pure or whatever and i never got to experience that i um yeah it's like you know everybody says like oh like your first relationship is always your best and you know maybe that holds true for a lot of people because their first relationships happened during their teens when they were still growing up. They were adolescents. They didn't understand the world um, the way an adult does and they didn't see the things in themselves and in other people that they see as adults. So it's definitely like probably a lot more innocent and in that way, they just kind of like went with it. It was probably more natural and they probably, um, you know, learn to like, I guess, you know, be in a relationship, develop that like crucial skill set. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a massive fucking simp. Um, I have no fucking clue, but I definitely feel like I missed out on that. And I definitely probably has had some negative effects on me. Like for one, um, it's, I guess, People say that during that age is when you learn how to like pair bond or whatever, meaning like stick to one person. And, you know, I do feel infatuated from time to time, even now, but it's definitely not to the same extent that I was a, as a teen. And um, it's like, maybe I'll never ever get to feel quote unquote love like that again. <laughs> Cause it really did feel like love, even though it was probably just like infatuation and I'll never ever get to share that with another person. Maybe I will, who knows? I hope I get to feel that at some point. Maybe it'll, you know, change my mind about people and things and 
change my perspective. But as of now, I feel like I definitely feel a lot more jaded when it comes to like dating stuff because of not having um, experienced that and, and just, you know, seeing sort of the more, um, like, I don't know, I'm not gonna say like wrong, but just more like the human aspect of it where everyone's basically just like horny as fuck. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I'm just being honest here. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Um, another thing, was, I was gonna say something else. Um, also that, um, I can't really think of it, but anyways, another thing that I missed out on was, um, you know, all the partying and stuff and, um, like, especially in college, I feel like it's like people have their like romantic relationships in like middle and high school. And, you know, that's obviously some partying, you know, for the, for the, I don't know, the, like the chads, I guess, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely missed out on like the party phase. Um, at most, what I would do is like, you know, smoke weed with like friends, which is, you know, I'm thankful for that. At least I got to have, you know, some semblance of friendship, even though my friends weren't always the best to me. But as far as like parties go, I never got invited to like a lot of them. I maybe got invited out like four or five times at most during my whole time in college and um i never you know got to experience what it was like you know going clubbing going to frat houses and you know yeah um just all that stuff and i feel like that's also a big missed opportunity because that's kind of where at the very latest people learn how to become like social and you know get into like party culture which is a big part of society like learning how to like mingle with different people and um, interact with different groups or like learning how to like gauge the situation I guess all these crucial skills that I never really got the opportunity to learn um and yeah um as well as obviously like fucking girls too like I mean I'm a guy so I'm not gonna sugarcoat it like I mean it would have been nice you know to uh yeah, I'd sleep around, I guess, and, you know, because, I don't know, it's chill, whatever, like, and, um, yeah, I definitely missed out on that, um, I had it, like, maybe a tiny bit, but, you know, way less than I would have liked, and way less than I maybe could have if I wasn't so, like, socially anxious and awkward and, you know, was more outgoing. If I, if I even knew the, the things I understood now, then maybe I could have done so much better in college and even high school. Like sometimes I feel like I've always been like two or three years, maybe not even two, maybe like two or one years too late. Like I hit certain developmental or like mental milestones, maybe like a year or two later than other people. And because of that, I miss out on all the fun everybody's having. And I'm probably missing out on all of like the work culture and like the clubbing and the shit that a lot of like wages are experiencing right now. And yeah, that's what I've always felt. But yeah, I definitely miss out on a lot of partying in college. And that's the time where it's like, it's more socially acceptable to just like be a dumbass and like do fun shit and, you know, make friends. People are probably a lot more open to having friends, assuming you're like, can act sort of normal. And um, yeah, um, I definitely did not do that because I was so self-conscious and stuff like that. And another thing I missed out on is the fact that I feel like I didn't take as many risks as I, as I should have. Um, I feel like, especially in like lower middle high school, those are the times when you get to take the most social risk with the least amount of consequence. But the irony is that it definitely feels like it's more consequential when you you know, take those risks, like talking to girls, asking a girl out, um, you know, trying to make friends with people, telling jokes, seeing what works out with others, um, stuff like that. I feel like people, teenagers are so um, conscious of being, being an outcast and um, weird and shit. But at the same time, like, I feel like in high school shit, um, 
know, maybe I'm having this the opposite. Maybe now is the time for me to take more risks because I feel like in some ways people gossip and shit and there's all this like drama and shit, but I guess it like depends on your high school. I feel like if I put in the effort and maybe, you know, try to like talk to people, talk to girls, I could have at least had some experience in, you know, talking to girls and um, learning what works and what doesn't. And instead, all you have is me, this weird social, you know, this social fucking wreck who, you know, can't really talk to people. I, I'm only starting to learn certain things now and become, I'm, I'm uh, fuck, I'm, I'm becoming more like con conscious of certain things that I say and the responses it gets and, you know, I kind of look at it. I kind of look at it from the point of like trying to not make people uncomfortable. You know, not just uh, not just because I'm afraid of being judged. Although that's definitely a huge part of it, but also because you know, it's like some people just don't get certain types of humor or jokes. And I feel like if I can like make if I can, I'll only like tell jokes to certain types of people if I know that they can handle it. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Maybe I should just treat everybody the same, but um, that's something I'll have to look into. But yeah, I just missed out on all taking all these risks and learning what works with people. And, you know, honestly, nobody fucking remembers. Nobody outside of high school really knows, like really remembers what went on. It kind of becomes like a distant memory. And at most people kind of remember that you were sort of weird. Um, but really, it's like when you meet former high school peers outside of high school, it's kind of like hitting the reset button and it's like a blank slate. And if you've changed in any amount, at least I feel, then it's like all of a sudden the past is forgiven. And obviously, I don't want to figure out my bullies or anything, except for bullying because that's fucked up. But there's that. And um, yeah, I feel like. I didn't take those risks, risks, so I kind of didn't have like any foundation to build upon in college as far as social skills go, and that's why I, you know, was so awkward and alone a lot of the time. And I think the final thing that I'm going to mention because the video is kind of getting long is that I never really took the opportunity to practice any like skills I probably mentioned before. Like, I really wish I had known that if I had taken up a hobby or a certain thing found a passion, something that I'm really interested in at a much like earlier age and just stuck with it, you know, even just one hour a day, maybe two hours every few days and just kept at it when I was like a teenager at 13, then um, I would become really good at it at some point, maybe enough to even make a career out of it and uh, not have to uh, maybe resort to wage slaving. But I didn't know that. All I, all I was doing at the time was chasing fucking hedonism and dopamine and playing video games. And um, yeah, I was fucking playing so much video games. And if I wasn't doing that, I was playing YouTube. Um, I mean, not playing, watching YouTube and just wasting so much time and being by myself, not taking risks, um, not working on social skills, not even lifting. I only started lifting um, in my last year of high school, and that's when it honestly at that point in time, that's when I truly first realized that if you work at something before you could actually improve in it before, I actually really assumed that everything the reason people were good at things was due to genetics or something like inborn. But yeah, I never knew that, so maybe that's why I thought that. And I just um yeah, I just didn't take the time I didn't put in the work and also at that age I feel like your brain is more uh, prone to forming new connections because there's a lot of like um, I guess neuroplasticity and stuff like that and I get as well as like the formation of new neurons and the pruning of old like connections like useless ones that happens at that age and I feel like just like how some kids are more primed to learn languages from maybe like ages two to four. I don't really know the exact age, but it's kind of the same where you're more likely to learn certain skills and become good at them if you start early as a teenager. And it's like, it almost changes your body on like a genetic level or the proper term would be epigenetics where you, um, you're like, 
it's like your physiology even changes to an extent. Like I kind of experienced this with my weightlifting, but definitely not as much as I could have if I had, if I feel I'd been active, maybe playing sports when I was younger. But instead, I I end up with what I have to work with now. So yeah, I wish I'd learned practiced a lot of these skills much earlier. So anyways, that's it for now. It might make a part two if I think of more things to talk about that I missed out on. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you enjoyed this. And this is Company signing out.